guess who's in the house but Tina. Well, hello, John. Jonathan. Hi. Hi. So you, you read my question and you said that that was probably just to have sex, right? Wait, which question was yours? Refresh my memory. For the everybody. one about the uh, no response to the text and going to Vegas in July. Okay, so um, so this was a person that you had a relationship with prior to, or yeah, like two years, two years ago. Two years ago, you had a relationship. Did you have a physical, intimate relationship with him? Yes. Okay, and how long were you two together? A year. How uh, how far apart did you live at that time? Maybe 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes. You were together for a year. And what caused the ending of your relationship, Tina? Um, I didn't feel like he was right for me. Because, okay, so uh, you ended the relationship. I did. Okay. I'm um, just out of curiosity. Can you be a little bit more specific? Yeah, I have grandchildren and he doesn't have any children or grandchildren. And he wasn't even trying to like be kind of involved like for birthday parties if i invited him yeah. he would come stuff like yeah. that and my family okay. is very important to me okay he knows so, that so and you dated him for a year correct mm -hmm. right okay so why do, just out of curiosity why do you think he didn't want to integrate into your life i didn't understand that i still really don't yeah now yeah, i just I want know. to i want you to understand and he doesn't have any children correct right yeah. Okay. So some people have had tra traumatic childhoods, particularly um, they might have had some trauma that makes them reluctant to actually be in a caretaker type role. So you obviously have a nurturing side to you. You have a caretaking side to you. And he probably struggles with that because was he a byproduct of divorced parents or did he have emotionally abusive parents? Um, divorced parents. Yeah, okay. So a lot of divorced people or excuse me, do you remember how old he was when his parents got divorced? Under 10. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so he probably had a significant fear about family. So, but you gave it a year, you gave it a shot mm -hmm. and you did your best. Okay. So now two years later, he reached out via text. Now I'm confused. No, I about actually the, did. Oh, you reached out via text. I did. It was kind of like a joke. Okay, so this is how it started, if you have a minute. Yeah. I said, uh, well, you know, I took you to see New Edition. I'm sure you may know who they are, right? The sure. group? Yeah. I'm like, I took you to see them when we were dating. So why don't you take me to see them while they have their residency in Vegas? Oh, wait, wait. Before you continue, I apologize. I just want to understand something. You hadn't communicated them with two years. And right. Then out of the blue, you sent a text message. You, I took you to New Edition. Why not you take me to New Edition? Is right. that what happened? Okay. Yes. What prompted you to do that? I don't know. I just thought that it was a cute joke, but then he actually said he was going to take me and he paid for the stuff. So we're going in July. Okay. So, so you reached out to him. Right. You know, but... Okay, I didn't so think he, I don't think he would do anything but probably like do a smiley face or some kind of emoji, not actually try to do it. So because we haven't talked and seen each other in two years, so I didn't expect that. Okay. And in the last two years, have you had have you gone on any dates? Uh, we only went to a church revival like two weeks ago. Wait, wait, no, no, wait, wait. Let me be clear. Have you gone on dates with other men? Yes. Okay, so just put that in a box for a second. But you've still physically seen this man in the last two years, even no, though you weren't dating. Not, huh? not until two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, you saw him at church. Right. Okay, he so he was church. back in your consciousness. Is that right? This was after the new edition text, though. Oh, this was after the new edition right. text. So what do you want? Uh, I was just curious as to why not a response to the have a good weekend text if you're trying to take me to Vegas in July. What it was when you say you're trying to take me to Vegas in July. Well, he okay. paid and we're supposed to be going. But if I send you a send him a text saying have a good weekend last weekend and I haven't heard from him, then so, what's the point of July? So I'm going to go out on a limb mm -hmm. and. I'm going to suppose something that's possibly what's going on. Okay. He might, because he didn't want to end the relationship with you, you ended it with him. Okay. Yeah. He probably has care for you. 
At the same time, you rejected him. You, you abandoned the relationship because it didn't fit what you were looking for. Okay. Right. And he might feel fear right now. In other words, that fear of getting, getting attached to you, to getting closer to you. While he might be open to doing an experience with you, at the same time, he might be going through, the, it's, it's the difference between desires and fear, okay? He's conflicted between his desires and his fears, possibly speaking, okay? okay. So your response, have a great weekend, possibly put an emotional strain on him because I don't want to get too close to her. She's going to dump me again. I like, but I want to have a, I'm lonely and I want to connect with someone. So he's going through his emotional internal, um, possibly his internal fears. Okay. Okay. He might be, um, he might be what's known as an avoidant attachment style. That's possibly what happens to someone. He might be a fearful avoidant or a dismissive avoidant attachment style, given that his parents went through a divorce at age 10. He might also be an anxious attachment style. In other words, he, you might be the avoidant in this dynamic. It's really hard to say. So um, I guess the question I want to come back to you reached out to him out of the blue. I suspect you did that. What was the reason why you did that? Mm. Because you said it was like, oh, I wanted to be a joke, but you know, this is somebody you used to know. He's in your past. So there was something gnawing at you that caused you to do that. So why not? I, I, cannot think of that. What it, I can't think of what it could have been, but it was just in my head when I saw the promo for the residency, I was just like, hey, let me just shoot this to him and see what he says. But I didn't think, you know, I just figured he'd probably laugh at it or laugh emoji or something. Okay, so, but he then said, yeah. let's go. Why did you say yes? Because I really would like to go. Okay, and he's paying and he, for he it. Cool so you're company. Basic. Yeah, he's huh? cool company. We went before, uh, and we were, he was cool company when we went before once. So I figured we're just friends. Why not? Oh, by the way, Barbara says, um, Barbara says he might be having a good weekend with someone else. Remember, no kids try, tying him down. <laughs> you may be right, Barbara. Yeah, he might, you know, he might be, he might have someone else in his life and you're just a placeholder in this particular space in his life. But by the way, you're also making a choice too. This is where I want you to own something. I am. See, you're making a choice that goes against your desires. And you're making this choice because I suspect you're in a state of fear. In other words, you had a good time with this person. He's from, it's like my son in the video games I was talking about earlier. Right. He's just on the shelf to you and you, you remember good times. So you're just going to go, I'll just pull out this video game and play it because I'm bored right now. How does that really serve you in your life? Like if, well, let me ask you a question, Tina. Do you want a significant relationship where you spend regular time together doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, integrating your family and friends with one another, where you have physical intimacy on a regular basis, where you have teamwork? Do you want that kind of relationship? Yes, I do. Okay. So then why, why, in, why initiate someone who can't fit into that scenario? That's a good question because I didn't, um, I don't know. That's a good question because I'm, I'm not trying to date him again because I don't want to date him. Yeah, but you're That's engaging with him right, for a I reason. Oh, by the way, you, well, to some degree, you're using him. I bought you tickets, so I need you to buy me tickets. Like that's that's using someone. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I it can be like considered that. I, that. I, I I'm not it, saying it is. That. Right. Huh? I can see what you're saying. But, but yeah, I didn't, you're, I didn't think of it that way, but I can see what you're saying, though. Like, is it fair to, by the way, I'm going to be on his side for a moment. Is it really fair to him that he didn't want to end the relationship? You ended the relationship because he couldn't, because he was incapable of integrating your life. Are you really being fair to him if he has, maybe he's hoping you want him back? By the way, do you know how cruel that is to possibly create hope in the other person, knowing that you don't want to go back to that dynamic? That's not fair to him. It's not, but I don't think he's, I don't think he wants that either. I think he understands this. Well, just you don't know. No, no, I wait, think wait. it's a friendship thing. I think that's what, well, that's what I see. I think he sees it the same way. Time out. Time out. Excuse me. You say, I think. Yeah. You don't say, I know. There's a big I difference don't. between assuming versus sure. having a grown up conversation. 
having a grown up conversation with them well, about note, what are we doing? Side note, um, I did text him when he texted me and he finally got the tickets and he got the hotel, the flight. And then he says, uh, well, you know, I still love you. Ah, so think about that. I, so, I'm, I'm going to be on his side for a moment. I would okay? appreciate I'm going to be on it. his side for a moment. Yeah. He still has genuine care for you, but you don't want him in his life. Is that fair to him? No. No, it's not. I hear a but, but you, you have a I but. Because I figured we were just friends. We're going to be just friends. And but he like, said, I, I love you. Yeah, he did. Well, then I think you need to address that as a grown-up saying, look, I'm open to being friends with you, but I, you know, but I want you to go find a life partner that that will love you the way you need to be loved. Like mm -hmm. that's a grown up thing to say to him. Like, look, I, I appreciate that you love me, but I want to encourage you to go find a life partner who's going to love you the way you want to be loved. By the way, Tina, if this was in reverse, I'd be saying the same thing the other way around. You know what? You know, I appreciate it. I appreciate your honesty because it's always yeah. good to hear somebody else's point of view on things. So, yeah. By the way, Ka uh, Catalina says, "Got to give Tina, got to give it to Tina for calling in on a video call. It's brave of you." <laughs> Thank you so much, Catalina. All right, Tina. Can I? I hope you you you. I hope you take some of my suggestions. I will and have a grown up conversation with them. And I appreciate you being brave enough to be on here. So can one I give you a thing, big, gigantic Jonathan thing, Bear hug? Sorry, one thing. What? What? Oh, so you would say on his behalf, I, on my behalf, I should not try to go to, on, in July. I should not go. No, that's not what I said. What no, I said no, is I'm having, saying, you, I want your, your opinion. Do you think I should try to go or no? Well, I would have a grown-up conversation with them, letting yeah. them know that you strictly are only interested in friendship, okay. but that you encourage him to find a life partner. And it's absolutely okay if he wants to cancel this event. Let okay. him know it's okay if he wants to cancel the event. Just be in an integrity with them. Okay. That's the most important piece. Okay. okay. Thank you, Jonathan. All right, Tina. Give me you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you you Bye -bye. too. Bye now. So I want to give Tina some props for being brave and, and sharing this. There's a lot. Here's the thing. Did you notice I asked a lot of little detailed questions because we wanted to get clarity on what was actually going on between the two of them? Because it's, you know, many times you come here with a surface conversation. But when we dig a little bit deeper, we found that she was the one who initiated contact with him out of the blue because she saw something that she thought was going to be a joke, okay? Now, I'm gonna tell you why I don't appreciate the joke, okay? Um, if this person deeply cared, how is that person going to receive the joke, okay? Now, I recognize that I think she didn't mean the word joke, but she thought, I, I think she was thinking of the word nostalgic. In other words, it was nostalgic for her to create a connection with him. But what was her deeper reason for connecting with him? I think most likely she had some care for him at the same time, and she had good times with him. So it's understandable you want to connect. But I'm also all about being in integrity. This is why, if you noticed, I mentioned to her, be in integrity with him. Have a grown-up conversation with him because he might actually have feelings. Ladies, if this story was reversed and it was the other way around, a man was on and this was happening, I would be lambasting the guy, lambasting the guy for being inconsiderate to her feelings. And when I'm saying inconsiderate, I'm just being recognizing that if someone loves and cares for you, it's kind of a tease to open that up, you know? And so you, so if her purpose is to be friends, here's the thing. All right. So I didn't say this to Tina, but if Tina's watching this right now, I want you to recognize something. If you met the love of your life tomorrow, Tina, would this man still be a friend in your life. He wasn't a friend for two years. All of a sudden you initiate contact, you establish some connection. And then, but if you met the love of your life, this guy is gone. You see, here's the, this is something that really irritates me within human beings, this idea of friendship. Okay. Friendship is something sacred. 
Okay. It requires nurturing. A friendship requires nurturing. I think she's just, you know, for whatever reason, my instincts tell me she's a little bit lonely. She wants connection. She felt nostalgic and she just wants connection. But you would diss that connection in a heartbeat. Is that what a friend would do? Okay. So don't open up a wound for him. If it, you know, and by the way, I would say this to a man too. I, I believe that, you know, in fact, I did a post on, um, oh, hold on folks. I, I did a post on, um, on YouTube yesterday and I want to read it to everybody. It was a wise man quote that said the following. I want to read this. This is very poignant. A wise man once said, if you look at her and you don't feel anything, then she is not to, yours to keep. She's another man's blessing. Be real about who, how you feel and stop wasting her time. We all need to stop messing with other people's soulmates. That's really hit me hard. So, Tina, is it really fair to him that you open this up if you are not serious about a relationship? And by the way, again, this, this happens the other way around more often. It's men that do this shit that are completely unfair to another person, teasing another person. This is why I'm such a proponent of grown-up conversations. And Tina, again, I think it's very brave that you came on and shared this with us all. I want to give you your props. I hope you take, um, take my advice and really let it marinate for you. But folks, if we want to start having grown-up relationships, then each one of us should make a stand for what we want stick to what we want, hold space for what we want, and don't interject maybe your loneliness, your fears, your hurts, and someone else into your life, because that's what's happening today when you can simply say a text message, do you want to go to new edition with me? You know, you owe me one. Um, I get that it was, I get that you think it was a joke. I, as I said earlier, I think it's nostalgic, but is it really cool? That's the question I invite you to ask yourself. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating with you? Please let me know if it is. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Post a comment below about what I just shared. As always, if you find value in my videos, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos. And also, if you want to connect with me directly, hit check out the links below to schedule a discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. Join my group called Midlife Love Mastery. Follow me on Instagram. Get the books I recommend and get my dating vows as well, all listed below.